The golden age of public finance. Issuance of muni bonds is likely to hit nearly half a trillion dollars this year, and Hilltop Security says 2022 could be an even bigger year with the market seeing new records. Is a golden age for borrowers also a golden age for investors, or are risks building in this space? For more, I'm joined by Tom Koslick, head of credit and municipal strategies at Hilltop Securities. Tom, welcome back. Thanks for having me, Kelly. So let's talk about all the issuance that we're seeing, which typically might mean, you know, they don't always all get the best price and yields are maybe a little bit high and that kind of thing. But explain what the dynamics are if we take a snapshot of today in the muni market. So where we are to start uh, December, I'd say that the municipal market hasn't been immune to the recent volatility. That being said, uh, the municipal market has responded in its own unique way, as it usually does, right? Uh, one of the things that we've seen over recent, uh, not just last week, but over recent weeks and even months, is that fund flows, while they were very strong, very, very strong for the in the first half of the year, they started to tail off over at the end of the summer. Uh, they were a little lower uh, to begin November, and they fell to about 36 million last week. That being said, I think that there are probably some technical or market-specific reasons of why the number fell so low. I'm expecting that fund flow numbers are really are going to strengthen. They're they're going to uh, be a little stronger, partially because I'm still seeing a very significant supply and demand imbalance. As you were just talking about, the amount of issuance really matters, and the fact that even take this this week for an example, there's 18 billion of primary market issuance coming, uh, and I still don't think that that's going to come close to uh, satisfying investor demand. So again, to start December, what we're seeing is a very strong amount of demand for municipals, even though the fund flow numbers haven't been as strong in the second half. Sure. So you think this year could do 460 billion of issuance next year, maybe 495, which would be a record. So in other words, even though we're seeing record supply in this space, you basically think there's record high demand. How long should that situation last? That's right. I think that uh, we're going to see 450, 460 billion this year. That was actually pretty close to our forecast for this year. Uh, next year, I think that we're going to see about 495 billion. Uh, one of the things that could have increased issuance uh, for next year and in coming years is are some of the fiscal policy uh, ideas that had been floated around uh, around this year, but. I'm expecting that going into next year, that 495 billion number, uh, the for, that forecast, I still don't think that that's going to meet the demand that's out there. I still think that in, unless issuance rises, that uh, that demand is going to outstrip supply. So let's say, you know, my financial advisor is walking through 2022 strategies and saying, OK, you need to be in some muni bonds. What are some things I want to be included? What are some things that I would not want to be included? You know, if you were advising kind of your friends and family, what would you say? Hey, just make sure you do the basic due diligence. Yeah, the fact of the matter is that we really like the recovery story. As you mentioned in the outset of this spot, the uh, I, I, we believe that there's a golden age of public finance right now, and that's really been uh, solidified with that six hundred and fifty billion dollars, six hundred and fifty billion that came from the Rescue Plan Act. That's gonna ha- that's gonna send three hundred and fifty billion to state and locals. It's sending one hundred and thirty billion to schools and the balance to other sectors like higher ed, healthcare, uh, and. As part of that recovery story, we think that municipals are more insulated than other sectors. And so we really like the airport sector. We really think that the recovery is going to continue there. And we especially like the larger airports. We like the major toll roads, uh, higher grade health care, and especially the higher higher education with the strong brand name recommendation. And also housing and finance agencies. Uh, we really like that sector as well. Interesting. Tom, always with a bunch of actionable ideas for us. We appreciate it. It's good to have you on today. Thanks, Kelly. Tom Koslick with Hilltop Securities. Still ahead, the trends to watch for 2022. MSCI says here are key ESG themes investors need to prepare for. And not just all ESG investors, but anyone exposed to the supply chain will explain. Plus, shares of designer brands are on pace for their best day since January, jumping 17% after an earnings beat and strong guidance. The CEO will join us exclusively in just a moment. Stay with us. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Ask your investment advisor about BAM-insured muni bonds. 
Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 